Hi guys, welcome to our midweek service. I'm so excited to be here with you. Today we have a different kind of a fun challenge for you guys to enjoy. We're going to have two people sat face to face and we're going to ask ourselves six questions. So look, Jesse will go first and I will ask and then back and forth. The idea of this game is not to laugh. If I laugh while telling the joke, it's a point for the girls. If the girls telling a joke and I laugh then it's a point for the girls as well we want to make sure that the, there's no laughing at all telling the joke or receiving it so if I laugh at all you get a point that's right if you laugh at all I get a point yeah and at the end we'll tally it up it's going to be Jesse and I and then Nena and Kyle will be doing it and we'll see who wins I'm ready Jesse starts here we go Why do cows wear bells? <laughs> <laughs> That's a point. Ah, wait, okay. Let me actually see. Because their horns. <laughs> I'm not good. At this. I don't, I'm not good. I'm not okay. Kyle. I haven't even said anything funny yet. Okay, because their horns don't work. <laughs> okay, no, no, I can't do it either. Okay. My turn. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. What do you call an alligator in a vest? <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> you can That counts, right? That laugh? Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> an investigator. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. What do you do if your dog won't stop chasing people <laughs> Because we have a dog. <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't chase people on bikes. <laughs> but. but he laughed too. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait. I, th I said it wrong. What do you do if your dog won't ch stop chasing people on a bike? Take your dog's bike away. <laughs> <laughs> wait. If I laugh after you start laughing, can that not count? It's a point. It's a point. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Ma. I made up a new, completely original word. Want to hear it? Mm-hmm. Plagiarism. <laughs> I don't even know what word you said. All right. This is harder than it looks. Okay, people. <sighs> knock, knock. Who's there? Cow says. Cow says who? No, a cow says moo! <laughs> Yes, I snort when I laugh. Okay, that was really My good. My turn. Knock, knock. <laughs> no. Who's there? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta do this. I think I'm messing up. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, no more laughing. What's the best thing about Switzerland? What? Well, the flag is a big plus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make a tissue dab? You put a boogie in it. Put a little boogie in it. Okay. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? What did he say? Hey, matey! Mm. Get it? Mm. Hey, matey? 80? Mm. Okay. When will all of the rhetorical questions end? When will all the rhetorical questions end? You're not going to answer me, are you? <laughs> I think we're getting better. Okay. Do you know what they say about cliffhangers? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What do they say about cliffhangers? <laughs> I'm not laughing. No. <laughs> okay, I get it now. Oh gosh. 
Okay. Oh. What is a pirate's favorite letter? You'd think it'd be R, but it's actually C. <laughs> okay, I can't. Whew. No, wait, no. You'd think it'd be R, but it'd be the C. That was it. You're done? Yeah, I have no more. Oh, I'm done too. <laughs> well, that's it. Next up, uh, Nena and Kyle. Stay tuned. Where do you find a dog with no legs? Where? Right where you left it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <coughs> okay. If you take the shell off a snail, does it make him faster? Nope. It just makes him sluggish. What did one snowman say to the other? What? Smells like carrots. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I feel like I'm spitting. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what the heck does this mean? Okay. Why did the man with thick glasses fall into a well? Because he had no balance? No, it was because he didn't see that well. How are these not funny to you? <laughs> what do you call someone who never stops talking about chickens? Ronald McDonald. Eccentric. Oh, it's not good. Sorry. Okay, how does someone who lisps think the unthinkable? <laughs> okay, you need to laugh. Like <laughs> Someone stole my mood ring. I don't know how I feel about that. Why do you have a mood ring? There's no answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He laughed! <laughs> okay, sorry. I forgot. Okay. Um, what do you get if you cross an elephant with a kangaroo? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Big holes all over Australia. I'm sorry, that sucks. <laughs> Why is Peter Pan always flying? I don't know. Because he never lands. Wow. Yeah, it was alright. Okay. <clears throat> How does Moses make tea his tea? <laughs> he brews it. Oh my gosh! What should you do if you're afraid of <coughs> negative numbers? What? What's your answer? Stop at nothing to avoid them. Mm. No, that's not good. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> A Spanish magician tells the audience he's he'll disappear. He says. <laughs> <laughs> Does poof <laughs> and he disappears without a thrist. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why are you not laughing? Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, everyone, let's take a deep breath. <sighs> because we are now time for the lesson. I know it was fun. And uh, it, that game is actually a lot harder than it looks, believe me. I don't <laughs> laugh that easily, but it was hard. And you saw Nana, so yeah. Sorry, Nana. Um, but now we're going to get into our lesson time. And as we had last week, we had Gavin with us. This week, we have another special guest who is the same age. He's 10 years old, and he has prepared a lesson for us today. So I want to welcome Silas to teach us something that he has put together from the Bible. So if you don't have your Bible and a notebook, go get that real quick. And once you're done, press play again, and we'll start back. All right, so you should have your Bible. So here we go. We're going to get ready. Everyone sitting up straight, hands in your lap, and listening to Silas. One, two, and three. Hi, everyone. I'm Silas Esslinger. I have a question for you. Have you ever had to get through difficult times? This is a question everyone will deal with at some time. How do we overcome things that seem hard, unfair, or maybe you just don't feel strong enough to do? For me, it's math. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite stories of two people who overcame something hard. It's the story of Paul and Silas in Acts 16. The story starts with a woman who is demon-possessed telling people their, what their future would be like. The demon, the demon that was on her told her people's lives and their futures. She began to follow Paul and Silas telling everyone that they were servants of God and telling people the way to be saved. This was true. She followed them for days saying the same thing over and over again till they got so annoyed that they prayed in Jesus' name that the demon will come out. And that moment she was freed. And her leaders, her leaders who she worked for were so angry at Paul and Silas that they told the Roman guards to beat them and throw them in jail. Um, but here's the part I love so much and the answer to our question. How do we overcome something hard? In verse 25 through 26, it says, When it was about midnight, they were praying and singing to God and the other prisoners were listening. There was an earthquake and all the jail cells opened and their chains broke. The first way to become an overcomer is through prayer and worship. It changed Paul and Silas's situation. It can change ours. They knew that God could help them, that God was their comfort. God saved them, but it gets better. When the guard who was supposed to keep Paul and Silas in their jail cell woke and learned that all the cell doors were open and the chains were off, he was going to kill himself because he was so afraid that the prisoners had escaped and he was also afraid that of what the other Roman guards would do to him. In verse 28 through 29 it says, Paul and Silas shouted at the guard and everyone w that everyone was in their cell and he didn't have to kill himself. <clears throat> the guard rushed in and fell to his knees and asked, what must I do to be saved? The guard got saved baptized, and had them over to his house for dinner. The second way to become an overcomer is by trusting God and that he has a plan for your life even when you can't see it. If you're going through a difficult time, be like Paul and Silas. Pray and ask God to give you the faith you need for the situation. Praise God, trusting that he has, um, that he has a plan for your life even if you can't see it. And be prepared that someone might come to know God because of your faith. I challenge you to be like Paul and Silas and pray and um, worship God in hard times. God bless you. I'm so glad that Silas came and shared this story from the Bible with us today. But I want to take a chance to challenge you before we close out this service. Um, how can you this week look at opportunities to, to do what Paul and Silas did in the Bible and to worship and pray in situations that may not be easy. Right now, we're all in a difficult situation and we need to be more like Paul and Silas and use that situation to propel us to come closer to God. So I wanna pray with you guys. I want you guys to bow your heads. I want you guys to close your eyes. And let's pray together. Say, dear God, thank you for the story of Paul and Silas. And 
thank you that you love me so much. Help me to pray more to you, to worship you in the hard times. We love you, in Jesus' name.